Andre, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Ready for the event. European Space Agency, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Jules Grancier from the European Space station, Agency at the Artis Planetarium. How do you read me? Jules, Jules, I'll read you loud and clear. I'm ready for the event. Go ahead. I hand you over now to Robert Schilling. Andre, ontzettend fijn dat Andre, how great uh, that you want to be here with us. We have the impression uh, that uh, you're kind of aboard the planetarium here. We can see you on screen. You cannot see us. Uh, the room is completely full, but uh, we would like to hear from you where exactly on board ISS you are and what you can see around you. Uh, don't fall over. Robert, uh, everything's very fine here. You guys seem to be having fi doing fine up there. I'm glad to hear that there's such a big interest. Um, I'm on board the ISS. We are now flying over the Pacific Ocean, about uh, over Peru. And on board here, uh, we're in the Columbus med module. That's one of the scientific labs. And uh, you can see all the equipment here. We're doing a lot of research on all kinds of fields. And of course, uh, behind us is uh, the rest of the ISS, but uh, this is where we are right now. And it's a great space uh, to work and to write also. Uh, we have begrepen um, that you a verstekeling on board. We understand that you have a stowaway on board, a space passenger, and it's a very special one. He's on a uh, billboard here in Amsterdam, and everybody here, or people in Amsterdam, think that uh, it's been photoshopped. And I would like to ask you uh, that artist Marcis, the mascot, is really on board of uh, the ISS. Uh, yes, it's a stowaway. Uh, you can know uh, here he is. Awesome. Awesome, to see, awesome sight to see. This afternoon uh, we have uh, five people who will be asking you a question. This, um, there's two children from elementary school and they won a competition and that's why they uh, have been chosen to ask a question. One girl um, is also from Artis, she also won a competition. We also have a question from the mayor of Amsterdam and then from uh, the Artis uh, Zoo professor. I would like to introduce them to you briefly and uh, they will ask your question and uh, we are uh, anxious to hear your uh, brief, uh, concise answers. First uh, question is from Isla Ripple. She is uh, six. Uh, she's looking beautiful because she's uh, wearing a, a homemade uh, astronaut outfit. And uh, she also does ballet. And uh, I'm going to ask her to ask your, your question. Uh, do you believe in aliens? Well, uh, here's the first one. Uh, personally, I do believe there are aliens. Uh, not in Mars. Uh, well, we haven't seen them yet, uh, but uh, I can imagine that, uh, I mean, I do know that there's a lot of stars in space, and uh, around these stars, there's uh, planets. And uh, so I do believe that there are a lot of planets uh, with uh, people or beings living on there. And uh, I hope we will find out soon. Well, uh, that's a very exciting answer. So uh, aliens do might exist. And uh, 
we might see proof soon. We'll just have to wait and see. And uh, Andre has uh, one on board, and it's a very special green uh, space alien. Now there's a question from another uh, student on um, Mali, and uh, he's from an elementary school in Nieuwegein. He's age 11, and he has a very nice question for Andre. Uh, what is your favorite space on the ISS, and why? Well, uh, my favorite spot on board the ISS is uh, the viewing area. There's a copula and uh, it's surrounded by windows and also above you. And you can see everything around you. You can turn around and uh, you can see Earth from all angles and it's a fantastic spot. And every time I think, wow, this is so beautiful, it's just awesome. During the day, it's beautiful. At night, too, uh, you can see all the lights on Earth and the stars. So that's a very good spot. Uh, I was, it wasn't there when uh, I was on my first flight, uh, so I'm very excited about this. Okay, then we go to the next question. So now the next question, and uh, that comes from a very special guest here in the planetarium, uh, to know Mayor of Amsterdam, Eberhard van der Laan, who would uh, also like to talk to Andrew Kuipers on board ISS. And uh, here is his question. Good morning, Mr. Kuipers. Uh, I was wondering, uh, when you return to Earth, what will you be missing most from this trip? Now. Well, uh, it's a big honor to hear a question from you. Uh, I've been sleeping great here, uh, so, uh, but that might be something that I might like more. It's a very pleasant feeling. So, I'm sorry, but there's very bad audio right now. Uh, floating is very pleasant, and I can recommend it to everybody. Over. Uh, online. Are you still online? Here's a question. We just asked a question. Uh, okay, question is if the sense of smell is different in microvacuity. Could you please repeat the question? Can you tell me if sense of smell is different in microgravity or is it the same as on Earth here? Uh, well, I can only hear here, here on Earth, so I don't quite understand the question. Uh, could you please repeat it one more time? Does everything on board ISS smell the same as here on Earth? Okay, now I understand. Well, that's a very interesting question. Uh, space uh, or microgravity is a very interesting um, thing. Uh, when you get on board of the ISS, uh, everything smells new, actually. It's just like you get into a new car. Uh, some things, uh, sometimes it smells a little oily here. Of course, we cannot open any windows. <laughs> Uh, so, but you get used to that quite quickly. Uh, food on board is uh, about the same as on Earth. Uh, taste, uh, you need a little more uh, spicy food or taste your food. Uh, at first, uh, your nose is a little swollen on the inside. But of course, uh, when we get delivery of uh, fresh fruit, uh, that is uh, really a pleasure to eat. So, uh, sense of uh, smell does not really change on board here. 
And Great. And the last question comes from artist Zoo professor Eric de Jong, who will ask the last question for this afternoon. Mr. Kuipers, uh, what can or how can space research contribute to big issues here on Earth, such as uh, biodiversity, climate change, and sustainability? Well, I think in the first place, the realization that uh, nothing is uh, sacred. Excuse me, but uh, I can hear double sound, double audio. Especially at night, uh, you can see an awful lot of lights on Earth, and uh, you can see that Earth is very heavily populated. On the other side, you also have the deserts. Uh, we have to realize that uh, Earth is limited. So uh, you, from here in space, you realize very well how limited, how restricted Earth is, and how careful we have to be with our resources. Uh, you can also see that from satellite images, uh, that they really make you realize that those satellite images uh, document the changes and uh, show you different things. Recently, uh, we opened a satellite portal, uh, which allows us to use the data coming from space. I believe that's a very uh, important uh, development, and uh, so that way we can determine where there are the dangers. So, but the main thing is that uh, Earth is beautiful, but very vulnerable. Great answer. We are very happy with your answers to your questions here in uh, the room. And then uh, in closing of this uh, fantastic session, this uh, contact with space, Andre would, would like to ask you if it's true that uh, you will come by the Artist uh, Planetarium one more time. And uh, also if uh, for us, you would happen to have um, your own message to convey to us he down here. Well, uh, I will definitely come to the planetarium. Uh, for a visit, and uh, if uh, maybe several times, if there's enough uh, interest, I will do several presentations. It's a great uh, location, and to me it's really fantastic uh, to be kind of in my own city and talk with my own city, and that's one of the things that I really uh, was looking forward to. A uh, message I would like to convey is, uh, well, that I would like to come by and uh, congratulate everybody uh, who's present in the room. Uh, I really hope that you will uh, follow, keep on following this mission and everything that's been going on. I've been uh, a regular at the planetarium and uh, it's all very interesting and uh, encouraging there. So uh, to me, planetarium is uh, one of the most interesting fields. And uh, before we are cut off here, I will uh, give you, show you some more um, weightlessness. Uh, I wish you the very best uh, this afternoon in the planetarium. This is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes our event. Thank you, European Space Agency. Andre, please stand by while we reconfigure video and audio communications.